They say if nothing is done now to improve service delivery at public health facilities, government will continue to pump money in the private sector through medical aid schemes which have so far proven to be expensive. If that trend continues like that, how are we going to survive in this country? It's so terrible. I would like to ask the minister to explore possibilities of making sure that the PCMAS beneficiaries will uh, visit the state hospitals more than they visit private hospitals so that we'll reinvest our government resources into our facilities and improve it for the better. There is also need for a system to timely monitor medicine stock to prevent a repeat of the government medical store running out of supplies. We had a grant from the Global Fund to revamp the entire system of supply management and distribution. The process is ongoing and that is part of the coverage for medical stockout. Once we have the entire system functional optionally, optimally, then even stockout will be the thing of the past. The issue of abortion also came up with the Justice Minister wanting to know when the consultations on abortion will start. But the issue has already received disapproval from some MPs. Let the nation really decide what it to do. If they say no, it's no. Mm. If they say yes, it's yes. So I'll, you have my full support, Mr. Minister, mm. on this issue and I support the vote. The Health Minister's message is clear. This is not like how people wake up and want to dish up a boss and peer. It's a, it's a genuine concern. Now, we can play around with statistics, whether it's 7,300 7, or 7,100. We can play. But the truth is that 7,000 young women had their life on, on, online by going through this process of abortion. And what he wants is objectivity and MPs should set aside their religious beliefs and look at the issue with a clear mind where lives can be saved. Between April and December last year, the ministry has recorded 7,197 young people under the age of 25 who carried out illegal street abortions.